this week at Just Chef TV is brought to you by All The Right, located in Elmer's, Queens. Shit, the takeover, the break's over, nigga. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. I'm gonna show you how great I am. boy david weeks nyc we here in my hometown in queens at all the right my boy just jeff tv let's get it what's up world it's just jeff tv and right now i'm in elmer's queens at all the right home of some of the dopest attire you can find in new york city and right now i'm with david weeks yo my brother how are you new nyc excuse yeah, me let me say the whole name let me say the whole name how you feeling brother i'm good man i'm blessed i mean i'm alive i'm the best thing you can ask for best thing you can ask for what about this? We got a whole rack of embellished jeans behind it. this. Shout out all the right, George and all them, you heard? Was this, was this in the vision when you first Man. got started? Yeah, it was. I, I'm, I mean, I'm humble, but I'm keeping it stack. Like, yeah. I knew I had what it takes to get this far. Mm. You know what I mean? I knew I had what it takes to get that far. Like, you keep pushing at something, it's going to crack. Definitely, definitely. So, out of Queens, New York, this is the hometown. Uh, yeah, man, the hometown feel good, man. So we were just discussing earlier about the grind and everything you did to get started. Mm -hmm. Like, let's speak a little bit about the beginning, just as far as just hustling and grinding, not just clothes, Man, just as an individual. Like, like where, where'd you get started? Grind. How'd you, how'd you, how'd you get to this point? Like, really? I mean, just doing what it took. Yeah. Legally. <laughs> yeah. Doing what it took. Nah, seriously, man. Just doing what it takes. Like, I literally was working as a waiter. Like, you know what I mean? I yeah. was a waiter. I was doing this. I was running around New York doing production assistant jobs just to make a little 15 i was i was i was an extra in like literally like every movie that came out in 2012 yeah random black guy walking in the back that's me <laughs> no, that was you that's me i was like, they used to pay 35 dollars for that after school yeah I, I went to school uptown so it was real close to central manhattan go down to the casting agency get a little sign out boop 35 dollars real quick so mm. You see Men in Black 3 and there's a little black dude walking in the back? That's me. You see Step Brother, um, not Step Brothers, a few other movies with Seth Rogen that came out that year? Yeah. That's me. Oh, uh, man. So so yeah. how were you able to transition into fashion? How did how'd you get your start into that? I mean, many ways, honestly. Like, you know, literally, it's like many ways. Like, I just got into fashion. It's like, I think I was pushing into it. I was, honestly, I used to sell a lot of stuff. Like, not... Yeah. Again, legal. Like, yeah, everything nice. legal. Everything. <laughs> I used to sell a lot yeah. of clothes. Like, I used to sell a lot of people clothes, like a lot of vape stuff, because, you know, I know the rappers wearing vape right now. Yeah. I've been on it for years. So you was so, pushing, you just pushing just clothes, clothes in general. anything. And it's like, I was like, damn, I can make this better. Put my name on it. Yeah. And sell it, because I know I can sell stuff. Yeah. I've been hustling for a minute. So, so with the jeans... How'd you, how'd you get your start? Because I know a lot of fashion, a lot of people, they do the shirts, they do everything like yeah. that. But denim, they usually, that's hard resource yeah, to get is. into. That's that a different is. type of talent to even try to sew up and work within, especially when you're getting as creative as this. How, how were you able to learn learn that? It took a while. It wasn't overnight. It had my ups, I had my downs, I had my even down downs. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? It took a while. I wasn't even in New York when at that time because I had moved out to L.A. Like, I had a... I had like a glasses brand. I don't know if you've seen it. Like Ryan French yeah. used to wear it. It got a little popping in New York. But I made some money off it. I was feeling myself. And then it just started going downhill. Like, But I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to move out to L.A. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I don't know if that's the re what I really want to do. But I really want to just go try something new. How old were you when you made that move? Uh, I was 19 or 20. I can't I can't remember. Yeah, like 19 or 20. It wasn't that long ago, honestly. Yeah. But, um. I was like, damn, what I'm going to do? How I'm going to get out there? I ain't got no money. Like, you know what I mean? Because this embellish, that embellish shit was going <laughs> downhill, yeah. my brother. Like, it was going downhill. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do something I don't want to do. I'm going to sell all my Jordans. Mm. I had this Jordan 1 collection. So every pair. Shit was crazy. I, I come, nigga, I, tears are coming so, to my eyes. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I mean, I guess you got your return back. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> return sure. on the investment. For sure. So, like, what, what, what took, what, what had to happen in order for you to make that decision? And say, you know what, I'm doing it. Like, 
What was going through your mind, like walking to the plane? Because 1920, yeah. I know you got parents in your oh, ears yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, where are you going? <laughs> so, like, I was like, man, I got to go make something for myself. I feel like I done did what I had to do here. Yeah. Like, even though I was only 1920, I was I was kind of cool around the scene. But, like, you know, I felt like I did everything I could do here as as far as my, my limits could take me. Cause so, so what, what kind of experience did you receive in LA that you weren't able to no, do it, in New it York? No, it was the same. It was just with different people. Like, I, at, at 19, I was, like, running behind Chris Montana in the studio all yeah. the time, linking up with all these people. So I had a lot of connects at yeah. 19. Like, I was, like, pretty plugged up, knew a bunch of stylists, but I ain't have nothing to really offer. I ain't had no real bread either. Mm. Like, where I'm going to get this bread from to start off what I need to start off? Yeah. So when I got out to L.A., I was hungry. Like, when I say I was on a peanut butter and jelly and ramen noodle diet, <laughs> that's all I was eating for, like, mm. at least two months. Because when I first moved out there, I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save up enough bread. Like, I'm going to save that, that money for my sneakers. Make sure I don't go homeless. That's it. So yeah. I came out there with eight months of rent. Paid that joint off the bat, and I was broke for them eight months. Mm. But I was hustling around, meeting a lot of people. I, I talk a lot. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're going to meet me that's, one that's way half, or the other. That's half the battle, networking, Thanks. talking to the right people. Nah, that's dope. I love I love the entrepreneurial spirit. I believe in it. I yeah. promote it. You know, we're speaking on college and everything like yeah. that. But it still comes back to the grind. It nah, still comes back to the hustle. Of course. You already know. Like, So... Um, speaking of meeting people, DJ Drama, mm-hmm. August Alcina, mm-hmm. yeah. Aaron Gordon, yeah, it, 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 Zach you know, Levine, the list, the, go li- the list goes on. Nah, honestly, the list go on. So, so how how were you able to get them in your clothing? Like, I mean, one, I gotta be thankful that like they big dudes just like myself. Like, yeah, I'm six three. You probably can't see that sitting down. <laughs> I'm six three and I'm big. I'm like six so. foot. <laughs> So they not able to fit into much things yeah. that's fly. So I'm like, yeah, here's something for the fly big dudes. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to represent. Here's something for the fly big dudes. But, like, I just want something fly in general, but I gave it to the big dudes as well. You yeah. Know what I mean? So so with being fly, let's talk about it because uh, the rumors have it. The rumors have it as far as the biker jeans go. Yeah. The first time I got a whiff of embellish, I screenshot, I sent it over to my man. I said, this is dope. Yeah. Check it out. And the first thing that came to his mouth was ball man. Yeah. Ball so, mm-hmm. so let's talk about it. Is this, what's the story? You tell the story. So Ballmont is a brand famous for biker jeans, right? Okay. Similar to embellish. Yes. Famous, famous for biker jeans. But they did not invent the biker jeans. Okay. They cannot patent the biker jeans. Mm-hmm. It is not a pattern. Yeah. It is not a logo. Okay. You cannot register trademark. You cannot patent. You cannot do anything to a biker jean. Yeah. They got famous for it, but they were not the first to do it. Yeah. Or the third. Mm-hmm. Or the fifth. Like, you know it what I mean? Just... They followed up, and they had a nice... They had a... Like, it was easy marketing. It was easy. It looked good, and it was easy marketing. Yeah. Honestly, like, honestly speaking, to be frank, people within our culture feel more comfortable buying from people who are abroad like yeah. all right they, they're from paris they're from italy it feels good to support somebody who you don't know or you will never see and don't give a damn about where you come from or like so they give you this outrageous price of 1600 yeah, that, that's that was my next question is and, like as far as the pricing goes mm-hmm. like how, how do you how does that even seem because relevant like <laughs> it doesn't cost that much to make it but they have that name yeah that says we're ball mom. We're gonna charge whatever we want because we know people within your culture idolize people from this culture. Yeah. And like that's a, like you know what I mean a lot of people don't use their platform to speak, but I speak on that very seriously. Like we people, and I'm not saying we as black people, yeah. people in general within our culture, we have an issue with idolizing people who don't give a damn about us. Mm. Like, uh, and I'm I'm a victim of it too. Shit, I got a Goyard wallet. In my, in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I know, them niggas, yeah, I know yeah. they don't give a damn about me. And I spent 900 on the wallet and 6000 on the bag. Mm. For what? Like, I'm, I, I, but I'm honest about it. I'm a, yeah. damn, I'm a victim for sure. Like, but, like, we got we to gotta chill on that because, like, a person like me, I come from Queens, New York. Yeah. I know how I feel to be broke. I got nine brothers and sisters. Mm. You know what I mean? I know how I feel to be broke. Section 8 and all that. So I know how that feels. So I'm like... Here, here's something that's fly, yeah. look good. It's, it's very similar to Balmain, but it's fly, look good, has a better fit and quality, if I may add. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's pretty dope. And here, here's for a reasonable price. Mm. $130, $140. Mm. 
you know, you can scrape do, that up. And do you think that that's a part of your success is that you're able to keep it affordable for, for sure for your community? One thousand percent. So, like, as far as outside of jeans, is there other things you want to get into? Because I've seen the uh, I've seen the jackets that's releasing yeah, yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that a part of embellishment? Of course, a different that's endeavor? actually how I start off. I, I design jackets all day for the, like my first four or five years of like doing this. I was designing jackets. You know what I mean? I didn't like. I didn't just come out like, hey, man, I'm making yeah. some jeans. That's yeah. something very hard to bust into. Yeah. But, yeah, so I have jackets. I have a bunch of other companies I own as well. Like, I, I'm a designer. Like, yeah. you know, I can actually get down and get dirty and design. Like, you know what I mean? So we, we spoke on California. We spoke on things that you've seen there. Um, let's talk about Hong Kong. Oh, man. Because <laughs> uh, that's called place. international. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Um how did you get into that? Is this the, is it a similar situation situation as California, where it's, all right, let me go out there and do something new? I, I, I believe it is. I don't know yet because I ain't lived it. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. Like currently, I'm residing in Hong Kong. I'll be uh, moving the rest of my stuff out there this Tuesday. Um, yeah. So you've been there. You've been there before many times. Mm. Ten, twelve times. You know, I'm learning a language. I'm about to get down with some and, Chinese, man. And, <laughs> and how yeah. did the did the, the, the culture affect the way you? design now is it has it opened your mind even more as far as your creativity man it's just like going out in asia seeing the things i see like some people won't believe what i, I you won't believe what i see you're like damn like it's such a different culture and not to go off topic but it's yeah. like it's such a different different culture and the way we're celebrated is unbelievable like people don't believe it. it's like we're black people right yeah both of us are black we're in america Correct. A lady might see our bag and nudge a little bit. Not not all the time, but yeah, it may happen. It, it occurs. Due, due yeah. to the, uh, you know what I mean? Stereotypes that come with black people yeah. and what you see on the television. Media. You know now, when works. I go out there and they they call, like, and not to be, they're not being racist when they say, they refer to me as Obama if they don't know my name. I swear to God. Mm. I swear to God. Or LeBron. I swear to God. <laughs> and you would think of it, like, first, I'm like, that's some derogatory stuff. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's negative. I don't, I'm not, I don't play basketball. I'm a designer. I'm not the president. But all they see is positive black people, and that's all they know us for. Mm. They don't know us for shooting and robbing people because they don't have that on their television. That's a fact. There's no black people shooting nobody on TV. All they see is the, the good. We yeah, all they see is the never... good. So I'm out there. I take thousands of pictures a week like hey smiling with me very happy people i've been to weddings out there like and this is not just within china i've been to many countries pakistan afghanistan saudi arabia i've been all over the middle east and this is i mean it's all reciprocated the same way they show a lot of love mm, so so what's your goals out there how long do you already have a time i don't have no time frame man. I, I don't have a time frame i mean i'm gonna just be out there getting real creative you better believe that you're gonna see mm. something from me and not just within clothing as well. I do a lot of accessories and not just accessories. Um, I'm in the technical world now, too, but I gotta yeah. keep that low key because I'm I mean, about some deals. Let's speak a little bit about the endeavors that you can talk on. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What, no. what else do you have going on? I mean, I own than... another brand called uh, Reeves Paris. I was staying over in Paris abroad for about three months. Yeah. And it was, um, I got really inspired by these two young kids I was with. And, uh, man, I just made some fire. Yeah, uh, I, I just made some fire. Like, do you want to show them? I know. It's oh right yeah, there. I actually did. Yeah. Yeah, Shit, why not? Can we allow this? Well, yeah. At the end of the month, at the, um, at the, at the end of the month, uh, yeah, this yeah, is gonna yeah. be debuted on, a, on one of my fashion shows in Paris. So mm. you know, pull up if you can get there. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, if you can get there, pull up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Yeah. I'm gonna start saving. I'm gonna start hey, saving. Hey, Ramen hey. noodles, peanut butter hey. jelly. I gotta make it to Paris. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's gonna be pretty good, man. It's my first time. Um, my first time really showing like this. Cause honestly, like. At first, I wasn't in the fashion. Like, I liked money. Like, I liked yeah. hustling. I felt like money making Mitch. Like, you mm. know, I liked hustling. So I didn't care about fashion. You know, I was like, you know, I'm just doing this for the money. I don't care. But I did I did start to appreciate it more. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? I'm a big, I'm very into art. Like, you know, I'm very, very into art. And then art started reciprocating the fashion to me. So you so say you can't speak on the technical world. Um, but, but listen. Nah, I but, can't. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, 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 let's just speak. There's a lot of deals in play. I'm telling you. But let's just speak in general. Um, like same for the youth, as far as them opening their minds, as far as things that they can experience, things that they can that they can get into, mm -hmm. other than just the music. You know what I'm saying? Other yeah, than yeah. Just there's the other out, yeah. There's like, other outlets than rap. I mean, I mean, there, I, there's nothing. Against, I have nothing against rappers. A lot of my good friends are rappers. Yeah. A lot of my close friends are rappers. There's nothing against rap, but. There's other outlets. You can other other ways to get out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
There's other ways to get out of the hood. There's other ways to get out of a messed up situation. So, like, is there any way that you try to uh, promote that message? Oh, for sure. All day. I let people know, and I, I let them know. Because the main thing people say when they see me, man, I need to get on your level. We we on the same level. We bleed the yeah. same blood. We the same people. What it's you mean? Like, I take the J train. Like, yeah. I take the J train. What you talking about? Like, apply yourself. That's it. Apply yourself to something you like and train. Pretend it's school. Treat treat real world like a school. Like, you yeah. need to pass the test. Do what you got to do to pass that test. Cause don't slack off once you finish with high school. Cause honestly, I mean, what's that really doing for you in there? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's exactly how I feel. I already spoke on college. I did some interviews and I oh, spoke yeah. on it. As far as like me personally, all the skills and all the trades that I learned, I put in way more time than college could ever tell me to do. For sure. You know, each course you're doing three hours a week. Hey, I apply, hey you want to hear crazy? <laughs> tell me. I apply for FIT. Mm. You know what they told me? What? That I had no design instinctive that I didn't, um, that I should not, you know, pursue a, a career in design. Tell me, hold on. Tell them how you feel now. <laughs> hey, tell me how you really feel. <laughs> but that, that's what I mean. You can't listen to nobody no, tell you no. And that, that that's half the battle is having that consistency, having that focus. Nah, you no, know? for sure. I don't listen to anyone who tells me I can't do something. Like, you can do whatever you want. Just do it. Just push yourself. You can literally do whatever you want. And, I, and, and we can see that. This is living proof right here. That's a fact. So, ladies and gentlemen, David Weeks, NYC. Let's get it. Is there anything that we didn't talk about that we need to talk um, about? Yeah, I can let it out now. Uh, I just finished my book. I'm getting this publishing deal right now, and it's not on, like, fashion and shit like that, like most people uh, think it would be. It's actually a children's book, and mm. it's pertaining to racism and all the shit that's going on right now. Yeah, um, so let's take, let's take a step back. Let's yeah, talk about uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really big on that because I don't like, like, you know, I'm a dude from the hood, like, but, and, you know, I've been a lot of places, but... I understand what's going on. I'm, I'm, I still come to see it. That's why yeah. a lot of people get money. <laughs> Uncle Elroy. Like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? I go back. Like, I'm here all the time. I get my hair cut by the Dominicans and Queens all day. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I see this. I see this stuff. See my homies getting stopped, and that's not cool. And I need people to, like, you know what I mean? Like, something got to happen. Something got to happen. As far as... This is going to be an outrage soon. Police brutality, you're just speaking in general, because no, right now... everything, I'm, everything. I'm, police, I'm, police brutality, like, stereotypes, they got to, you know, you got to chill with that. Like, yeah. You really have to chill with that, like... Because one thing I'm looking at right now, and the reason why, it, like, I want to say we're doing better, or just, it's just the message is out there more, yeah, because social media, we have yeah, control of the media. media. Yeah, we have control of the media. People who got outlets, and I call people out all day, like, I don't care. I don't yeah. care. And I've called several people out for, like, not using their outlets, and they'll tell you. Ask Jim Jones, he'll tell yeah. you. I hit him like, yo, son, you need to be talking more about this, like, because I'm, I'm serious. Like, yeah. I'm very serious about that. Like, and another thing, same thing with homeless people. Like, I'm very serious about that. There should be no homeless people. Yeah. Why is it homeless people? It's too much money be, in this yeah, country. Yeah, it's too much money in this country. Like, there should be no homeless people. Every Sunday, the hashtag lunchback challenge, you'll see me. Every Sunday, I donate food to homeless people. I make 250 sandwiches with my hands. Mm. It don't cost nothing. Go do that every single Sunday. I don't miss a Sunday. I miss this Sunday. And because I knew I was going to miss this Sunday, I did it two times in L.A. Mm. Two times in L.A. I did it Sunday and Thursday because I knew I was going to miss it. Go out, do it. Use your platform. Hashtag lunchback challenge. And go do it. Like, how hard is it? it so literally like, costs you four hundred dollars. That's nothing. You popping bottles in the club. How you popping a bottle and there's someone out there starving? Yeah, I, that ain't my job to feed them. All right, feel like that. You, you feel like that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I grew up on Section Eight and welfare. There wasn't a job to give me bread. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm giving back. I don't care what nobody say. I'm no, I, keep giving back. I appreciate that because there's a lot of people with the platform and you're, and you're still on the way up. Yeah, you get what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. You're just scratching your surface just from hearing the way you talk and I can just see your vision yeah, and how got, serious got, you are got a lot more about to achieving do. it. I definitely got a lot more to do. And you know what it is? Like a lot of people have the platform and they just like scared to lose what they got. Yeah. Like, shit, if I talk about this, people ain't going to want to fuck me the same way. I, I don't respect that. I'm, that's yeah, why. I mean, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, he's, you know I mean, use your platform. Yeah, use your platform. Cause you know what I mean. Like, they be like, yo, if I talk about this a certain way, these white people ain't gonna want to be in interviews with me. Like, why wouldn't they want to be? They want to work with you. They, they're humans too. Like, stop like judging them. Oh yeah, well if I talk about black, they are gonna hate me. Like, no, they're not. They're humans as well. They might understand you and be compassionate with you. Yeah, you need like they might want to work with you. Yeah. But like, you know what I mean? Pete, a lot of these, a lot of these rappers, and I, I get upset at these rappers because they don't use their platform. They got yeah. a huge platform. They rather tell people 
drink purple, drink and die. And then, I mean, that, like, that, you know that, what I mean? That's that's pretty much the message. But I can't, like me personally, I don't want to just blame the rappers. But you got to play no, who's I, playing I, the yeah, music. I, yeah, you got to look at yeah, the DJs. That's, it, that's it's a, a system. It's a you know system. Saying? It's a bunch of people. It's a, it's a yeah. bunch of people we need to blame. We need to blame. My, I blame myself. Yeah, I still listen to Future. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> I blame myself. Like, and that's the whole thing. I, I keep it a stack all the time. Like, I don't just be like. Oh, uh, yeah, pointing fingers. I be pointing right in the mirror. Yeah. I be messing up. OD. like, I listen to future. Like, and but then I'll talk about not. What's going? Hey, it, yeah, it's like that. But like, I'm telling you, we need to change. Well, I'm I, telling you that. I, I, I feel you because some days I try to wake up, I'm listening to everything positive, keep everything positive. But how yeah. hard is that? Just matter of fact, let me ask you this: as far as like moving out the hood, mm. you get what I'm saying? How much did that change your perspective as far as how tainted the hood made just? Make your mindset without even knowing it. I mean, it, it, I mean, I, I'm gonna keep it a stack. It does. Like, it, it, it can. It can yeah. definitely taint your mindset. You feel grimy. You walking around listening to Mob Deep like it's '94. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you feeling like a type of way when you walking around the hood, and this is like crazy. It's really crazy, man. Like, environment. I'm in Cali. It's sunny. Everybody's smiling. Yeah. Hi, neighbor. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It feels different. It feels it different. Off. It feels different, and it does rub off. I got to Cali. I'm like, how you doing? Like, yeah. you know, not even, like, you know how you, how you doing, miss? Like, you think yeah. you're bagging? No, I'm really just saying, how you, <laughs> how you doing? I really, I really care. want to know really, how is your day, because I, really I genuinely you know. care. Because like, that's one thing, when I, was, when I was younger, I always think, I remember, like, even in high school, like, early stages of high school, I used to walk in the hallway, I'll see somebody, and I'm just, I make a face. I get, you yeah. know what I mean? People walking around tents, and it's just like, yeah. why is that? Yeah. You know like, why saying? do we have to brace ourselves all the time? Hold on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's no reason for that, and that's why, like, I feel like we got to, we, like, we got to let people know, like, it's okay to say hi. It's okay to yeah. be, like, relax. Put your guard down a little bit. Smile. Everybody, you alive. Everybody can really get along. Yeah, right? like, you alive. <laughs> Smile. That's the happiest thing in the world to be, like, you should always be smiling because you alive. Yeah. You know how many people died, like, you know what I mean? You know yeah. how many people I know since ninth grade who died? Like, so many people. I went to school uptown. I seen it, like, I didn't see it. It actually was the same day, though. Like, kid out of basketball practice. This kid got out too late. Had a merm. I don't know if you remember merm jackets. Yeah, yeah, kid yeah. had a merm on him. They pop him right in the back in front of school. Right in front of the school. For a jacket. For a jacket. For a jacket. You know what I mean? So the fact that you bleeding blood and breathing air, you should be happy. You mm. should always be smiling. Along with being happy, you got to want more, man. You got to want more than just a jacket. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you got to want more than a jacket. And you gotta you gotta sit back and you gotta embrace individuals like this that's doing great things. You get what I'm saying? That's really making moves and making things happen. I want y'all to to start thinking bigger, man. We're gonna put that responsibility on y'all. Facts. You know what think, I'm saying? We gotta think bigger. That's you, yo. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> that's that that's, think bigger. That's that's for freedom. Let's let's start right, out there, right. man. Yo, I got my book coming out soon. I don't have no date for you. I'm yeah. still working with this publishing company, but it's out. I feel like all the illustrations and everything. I didn't draw it because I can't oh, draw. I about to say. Can't draw work for damn. But yeah. it's called Everybody's Purple. You know mm. what I mean? It's crazy. It's dope. It's it's a book. I can give you a little bit about it. I don't want to give too much. Yeah. Up, but it's a uh, book. Basically, everybody in the book is a purple blob. It's pertaining. Uh, so they're all the same. Yeah. It's pertaining to racism. Explains different ideas and shows you what's the different. Um, like that people are different. Like, yeah. but you're really the same. Yeah. Everybody. So like everyone's yeah. a purple blob, and then one girl is one girl is supposed to be gay. So she has like a. Like uh, on her air, she wears like this little uh, pink barrette. Like, but it go, that's not for her being a female because it, it, it explains more than racism as yeah. well, sexism, like uh, bias, like it, it's everything. Yeah. Like literally, like it's okay. And, and how how would you be able to to, to get those out there? Like, how, oh, it's coming out really soon. Like Man, Barnes I, and Nobles, I, digital. Yeah, like, you what's know, happening? it'll be out. Um, I'm not sure about Barnes and Nobles. I talked to the publishing company, but it's yeah, sure, Amazon. All I, I'll let you know when it's out. I'll let you know when it's on the way. Maybe we'll do an update interview. Yeah, hell yeah. 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 We're definitely going to do that. But listen, I got these cool-ass jeans on, They're right? on fire. And I need to go outside and show the rest of the world. Let's get it. Let's so do listen, that. it ain't nothing left. It's just Jeff, and we signing out. And I'm about to go. Oh, I'm about to go stretch these out, man. Let's we go get here. it. Let's, Let's get, get it. out of here. <laughs> What's up, world? It's just Jeff TV, and that's a blooper. Give me one second. Damn. Take